Hi everyone, today I'll show you the process of designing and building a little wooden C-shaped night lamp. Okay, so just like everyone ever, I go over to my wood storage and I check what wood would fit the project. Man, say that three times. So I found this small piece of oak which fit the project perfectly. It had nice grain and nice color, so I decided to go with that. I start by marking up the pieces that I need, just using a pencil and a tape measure. That's all the accuracy I need. Okay, and after that I go over to my table saw and using my crosscut sled, I make the first cut. So now that the board is cut to length, we also need to cut it to width. So we remove the crosscut sled clean up the table a little bit and then go ahead and set our fence to the right width. I make multiple cuts but I only show one here. Here you can see me just nicely cutting up the width of the board. Now seems like a good time to pre-sand the whole piece since it's still one piece instead of three and with a little movie magic I have now three pieces at perfect length. I have this amazing Swiss made carbide tip uh, Fortuna bit which I love to use so I use this for this project. I'm cutting a hole in one of the pieces where later on the lamp holder will go into. And as you can see, we have the general shape of the lamp laid out. The next step was to use a little rabbiting bit in our router to make a rabbit around the hole. Since the thread wasn't deep enough to cover the whole thickness of the wood, uh, we did it this way to recess the lamp holder into the plank a little bit. So now with the router I'm just making a little recess. And as you can see, here it is. Perfect. It fits the lamp holder just like we anticipated and the lamp fits in it as well. So we can now look at the general shape of the lamp which looks good. A little trick I got from Paul Seller was to use two nails and cut off the heads so you have a little bit of it sticking out. When you put on the glue and you're clamping up your project the nails will prevent the piece from sliding around. So here you can see me clamping up the project. I have a couple of clamps so well I just use every single one I have. Okay, not every single one but <laughs> at least three and that should be enough. In the meantime we can go ahead and prepare our cable. I've done a detailed explanation of it, of how to strip this fabric wire in a previous video so you can find a link to that as well. I start with stripping the fabric and stripping the cores, adding some rubber uh, heat shrink and then mounting the little wall plug. I like these plugs, they have a hole in them which is a nice design feature so I use them. I also use the most generic electrical cable switch you can find but I feel like they fit the purpose and they click nicely. So here it's just a matter of connecting the cable and mounting it to the switch so it's securely attached and doing that twice yields you a perfectly installed cable switch. 
Last thing to do is to mount the lamp holder. I've done this a million times, so I'm quite good at it. And here we go. Now we can mount the lamp and check whether or not it works, which it does nice. The glue is dried and we can remove our clamps. So that's what we're doing. Here we go, that looks very nice. We can do a little more sanding and then we add our branding. Of course we sand over the, the branding because we're not psychopaths and we like to have nice clean crisp edges just like that. A little more sanding and then we break the edges and we're done and ready for finish. I simply used the Inish oil, it makes the wood look nice and golden yellow uh, while also protecting it pretty well. And then we can clean up the face and let the finish dry. Once it is dry we can go ahead and assemble the whole piece which is just a matter of installing the lamp holder and that's very quickly done. Put in a light bulb et voila that looks like the lamp we designed. We can go ahead and test it one more time and it still works. It was at this point that I found out how versatile you can use it and that the light diffracts in different ways depending on how you put it. So here's a little uh, demonstration. This is upright, this is on its side and my favorite, this way you have a little light butterfly. I noticed some of my lamps uh, are a little bright, so this way you have a couple of options on how to put it on your nightstand uh, to not have it shine in your eyes. Okay, so another feature I did not anticipate was how easy it would be to ship this lamp. I have had some instances where my lamps were shattered during the shipping, but this way the lamp itself protects the light bulb from impact. So you can see how nicely it fits in the box. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I liked designing and building this lamp. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it, so I hope you stick around for next upcoming projects.